Hi, my name is Kelly Hansen, and I am an intern with the Office of Process Improvement at the Colorado Department of Transportation. And I'm going to be showing you today some of the options that you have with Mural for process mapping. So let's get started. The mural that you're looking at today is a mural that was set up for a meeting with Colorado Department of Transportation and the city and county of Denver to go over the IGA process that they have. So to get started, for this mural here, over to the left here, we have a sign-in section. So everyone in the meeting will come here and sign in. And then we have another nice feature down here called New to Mural. And if you just double click these links, a YouTube video will show up right on your screen. You can either open it in another tab too and you can play it and get a little introduction to Mural here. So up here at the top, we have a quick guide to process mapping. So we have reasons to make a process map, steps for creating a process map. So this is just a quick guide that's really easy for anyone to go to during the process if they kind of forget why we're doing this or how to do this. And then we have the instructions down here about how the process mapping is going to go and how it's set up. And down here in the next section, we have the process maps that were made in Visio here in Mural. And it was really easy to just copy and paste them in. And we wanted to use Mural instead of just showing them in Visio because it would have been pulling up multiple different Visio screens and it was just a lot easier to display it all in one location and we found that the easiest way to do that was with mural and so here we have the process at a macro level and then we have broken it up into the micro levels for each of the tasks here and to begin with we wanted everyone in the meeting to just do the process at the macro level so we were able to hide all the other micro levels here. And over here on the side where you see outline, you can just click on the little eye here to make these micro levels not hidden anymore. So now you can see all of these micro levels. And then the other really nice feature here is you can zoom into any part of the mural that you see. And if you double click, a little sticky note will show up so you can make a comment directly on the screen. Another option for adding comments is if you click over here on text, you can add a text box. And you can drag it anywhere you want, similar with a sticky note here. You can also add sticky notes directly from the screen over here by just clicking and dragging, and then you can type on it. And if you want to add a comment, another way is just with the comment box here and type it in over here. So this will be test four, I guess we're on now. And I'll show up on the screen and it'll also show you who made the comment. So right now I'm signed in as Gary. So it's going to show that I made the comment here. And you will be able to do that anywhere on the board. So if you want to scroll in to the IGA process too, double click, comment here, will show up and you can move it around anywhere that you want. You can also change the color of the sticky note if that helps. Maybe you want to be green and another person on your team wants to be blue. That's real easy to do. And then another nice feature that we have here with our board that we have set up is we have a summary section over here for everyone to add in 
general summary of the suggestions and comments that were made in the main section of the board. And you can do that by just double clicking over here and typing in. Another option that we have with Mural is if you don't want to use Visio and then upload it into Mural, another option is I'm going to scroll into this a blank section right here of the board and show you is you can go down to the second option here where it says shapes and connectors and you can make your own process map directly in here so you could add in task one here and then maybe you want two bars or two tasks and you can add a connector by just clicking the boxes and dragging it over and this is dynamic so if you click this oops Oh, no sticking out. <laughs> if you click the box here and drag it, the arrow will follow. So that is a nice feature. And you can also add text to it. So you can add text right to the box. So that's another option for your meeting is that you can do the process map as you guys are having the meeting. So I hope this helps with giving you some ideas for how to use Mural for process mapping. And hopefully we'll have a few more videos to show you additional ways that Mural can be helpful for you.